Hello, Kathy Dixon here. Welcome to The Math Reflective, where we teach, reflect, and impact. Today's video is about the impact of the app called Microsoft Office Lens. Stay tuned. So today is about the app Microsoft Office Lens. Now, this is not a new app. I think it was released in 2015 but I've never used it before, so it's new to me. And I wanna spread the word because I wanna make sure that other teachers know about this app and all the different uses that it can have in the classroom. So let's get started. First off, I have to give credit where credit is due. This tip was given to me by Jen Arberg, who's one of the lead learners with Open Up Resources 6-8 Math. This app has so many uses, so I wanted to separate it out into three different sections, personal use, professional use, and use for students. All right, to give you an example of what an awesome tool this is, I'm gonna go ahead and show you with my iPhone 7 Plus. You can see the Office Lens app in the bottom right of the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Just today, actually, my husband was asking me for a medical receipt because we have a flexible savings account, and I won't use that, but I'll use something similar. This is a document that is a receipt for a grad class that I paid, and I need it to get reimbursed. Um, for next year. So go ahead and hover over the document and you can see you have choices of whiteboard, document, or business card or photo, but we're going to use document for this. And it's trying to frame an object here, but I don't even have to be straight on it. I can be a little bit tilted, like let's say I'm just kind of doing it like this, but I still get it to frame that object. And then go ahead and hit the button. I can rotate it and there you go, you have the scan document. Now this is cool. When you hit done, you can see all the different choices. You could put it in your photo library as a PDF. It is streamlined with OneNote, OneDrive. You can turn it into a Microsoft Word document. You can put it in PowerPoint. You can share to Outlook or other mail apps. Let's say I wanna make it to a PDF. That's what I did today. And then I go ahead and put it in my phone storage. And then I can choose the one that I did and then I can go ahead. There's also filters that you can make it brighter and whiter also. And then I just hit the share out button and I can send it by email. I could save it to Google Drive. Just think of all the possibilities. So for personal use, you can see that there are many different ways that it can help you get organized and scan things on the go. You don't have to have a printer scanner at home. I know some people don't have that and it's just faster. If I went to go put the receipt or a document into the printer, there's several more steps that I have to do. And this is seamless and it saves it in any format that you want. And then as far as being a business professional, teacher, I mean, in any occupation, being at a meeting, sometimes there's notes put on um, that are projected on the screen or put on a dry erase board and you wanna leave with those notes. It is streamlined with OneNote and OneDrive and Google Drive, as I mentioned, so there's application there. It even works for business cards. So you can just snap a photo of the business card in the app and it'll automatically import them into your phone contacts. I know that it works in a few different languages and more are coming out. For anyone that has travel expenses related to business, as I just did for the conference that I went to, I thank you to Jen Arbor for giving me this tip because I actually used the Office Lens app to scan my receipts and put them, I put them, laid them on a sheet of paper, just printer paper, and I was able to scan the whole paper which had all my receipts on it and also scan my expense reports and submit them by email very quickly. For teacher use, this app gives you the opportunity to grade and annotate and share with an entire class or individual students. Okay, another really cool application for this is, I told you earlier, you have whiteboard at the bottom, business card, photo, and you know how whiteboards always have that shine to it, and I have many times wanted to take a picture of our results from a number talk or something on the board and I just want to remember it and sometimes I want to tweet it out on Twitter later but it doesn't show up that well um, it's got a glare to it and there's shadows so go ahead and choose whiteboard and then again you want to frame just that area that you're trying to capture go ahead and click that as it's processing and then I'm gonna now that I know about that cropping tool I'm just gonna crop a little bit off there and clean that up a bit Okay. All right, so now let's say I wanted to give um, something to a student. We had written something on the board and I can right away turn this into a PDF 
or an editable, editable document for the, for the student. Now, since we use iPads, if I did turn it into a PDF, um, I could send it to the student and they could then put it in Notability app and then they could edit on the PDF as well. So, so much versatility here. Okay, I wanna show you another really cool way that you could use this for students in the math classroom or any content area, especially literature and language arts. So I have just a professional book here called A Repair Kit for Grading. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick any page here and you're getting the app to recognize, it's trying to frame it. So there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And then it's going to try to make it a document as best it can. And you see that there are choices here. I could crop this a bit if I needed to crop it. I could also choose to rotate it here with that second one on the right side, the second choice. And then you could also add text in any color you want. And then I can add that and move that around on the document. And I could also pick some drawing tools. So let's say I want to pick yellow and I want to highlight or circle some things. I can do that. And I haven't played around with this that much, but you can see there's lots of different things. I can imagine with a student, if you wanted to quickly take a picture of something and then you could let them, you know, edit and, and put text right on it. Another really cool application to this, I'm going to go back. We're going to hit discard this image and we're going to try again. So this time I'm going to click it and then I'm going to do done. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom to choose immersive reader. And it scans that text and makes it easier to read and ready to be read aloud. I think that's amazing. So you can, if you click the bottom on the, the button on the bottom right, you can change the speaking rate. This is how fast immersive reader will read. And then it'll say how fast it's going to go. This is how fast immersive reader will read. Down a little bit. And then you can pick different size for the text. You could make the text larger. You could make the text smaller. So it would be great for students that have certain modifications or accommodations. You could highlight the back of the text. Let's say yellow would be better for somebody's eyes and it needs to show up. So there's all kinds of availability with that. And also you just hit the play button in the bottom, in the middle. Don't include zeros in grade and determination when evidence is missing reads. or is punished. I don't know about you, but there's so much wonderful technology out there. And I think if we don't use it right away, we lose it. We forget about it. We don't use it. It doesn't become part of our everyday life. But I'm definitely going to use this Microsoft Office Lens app. And I hope you do too. If you look in the description below, I put two websites that have more information and more and will give more guidance for you. If you can think of other ways to utilize this app as a teacher or in your content area or your grade level, please, please, please write in the comments below so that we can share those ideas with everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video and this smart cut useful, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Are you ready for more?